Hey guys, welcome back to Sabres Forever. I'm John and today we're gonna be going over a Starfall Saber that I just finished installing. This was a commission and I'm very excited to get this in the hands of the new owner. So let's dive in and I'll show you exactly what's going on with this Saber today. All right, so here it is. Uh, I gotta say, this is a really nice saber, and I, um, personally, when I saw Nick put this on Instagram, I was like, wow. <laughs> I almost jumped at it and then learned that this was a commission, so, um, jump in those seats, people, because holy cow, right? I mean, this is wood. There's custom machine parts on here, a lot of found materials, I mean leather wrap. This feels amazing. It's very comfortable to grip. I mean, knitter. Beautiful. So, very happy with this install too. It was very easy. So, I'm going to go over uh, how to get access to the SD card and actually all the functions of the Sabre, and then I'll give a demo um, with the blade. So, to get inside with the supplied Allen key, I have sticky fingers. Loosen this a little bit. You really just need like a quarter turn, and this will just be. You can just remove that and put that to the side. And your speakers right here. You're just gonna shake your chassis out. It's a little bit of a snug fit, but you can pull this out about that far. And there's just a rubber band holding the sound card in. Should you want to make any changes, um, but your recharge port's right here, and you just pull this and you get your boot up. So what's nice about this um, SD config is that I actually included the um, save state command. So whatever font or colors you change or anything and then you put your kill key in, it'll actually just go back to that and remember all your settings. So um, I'm sure in a year <laughs> these saber colors are not going to be the same as when I sent them to you uh, for their, what you prefer them to be. So anyways, uh, I'm just going to go over this. So you have your power on the left and your auxiliary on the right. Basically this is just going to turn your saber off and on and it has some basic commands and then this is going to do blasters and lock up and all that. So power, tap the power, turns on, tap to turn off, and then you can double tap the power to turn it on without sound and you'll get all the same effects that I'm about to explain. You can also turn it on by gesturing. Let's see if I can get it. I think it's stab on. Yep, so it'll just turn on with a stab. You can do it by pulling, but then you can also twist to turn off. So those two commands are your gestures. When you gesture with the commands, you're putting the saber into battle mode. So gesture on with stab, what that means is, now when you clash, it'll just hold a lockup until you move away. Or if you stab, it'll hold the stab until you move away. Uh, twist to turn off. If you turn it on with the buttons, you're not in battle mode, so you'll just get regular clashes, and I'll demonstrate that now. Smooth swing. Flashes, blasters, tap, um, clash and hold auxiliary for lockup, release to stop. You can color change by tapping auxiliary or hold auxiliary and tap power. You'll hear that doo doo doo, and then when you twist, it'll change colors. All the fonts can do this except for Corin Horn, which is only silver or purple. So I'm going to put this back on like a, a gold, where was that, there it is. And tap the power when you've found the color that you want. Tap the auxiliary when the saber's off to change fonts. And it'll just sound different. Now your blade retention screw is right here and it also uses the same allen key as the set screw down here. 
and your blade actually fits any direction. So you've got a stock NeoPixel Quick Connect V3 with the female end as well. And you can just put your blade in any way you want. You'll feel, feel that there's springy fingers in there. Just depress the blade a little bit and um, tighten your set screw like that. And now I'm going to give a demo with the blade in. So let's go take a look at that. So I've already explained previously how the Sabre actually functions, but now I'm just going to give a visual representation and show what the blade profiles look like. So the first one being Starfall. And finally, we just get to the battery level where it just displays how much power you have left in the cell. Thanks for checking out the video today. Special thank you to Starfall Sabres for uh, including me in the Starfall family. Uh, it's been a while and I'm glad to be back doing it. So if you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos and of uh, installs and I have a lot more planned for the channel in the future and I'm sure you're not going to want to miss out on it. So please stay tuned, may the force be with you, and I'll see you next time.